Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and today we're going to be going over the data download that occurred last night on the global side of Dokkan Battle. So first off, before we go over, big shout out to Zahal from the Reddit. Thank you for grabbing all this information and posting it for us. If any of you guys are new here and you don't know about the Reddit, go ahead to the Reddit and subscribe, create an account, and join their community. Especially you new guys who need help with team building and event tactics. Uh, this community is amazing for helping you out. Go ahead, subscribe to them and create an account and go and talk and everyone there is super helpful and super nice so let's go over the post real quick so we have some confirmed events for the two-year anniversary that will be dropping between the sixth that's today and the seventh that is tomorrow at least i'm in eastern time so it's currently like 11 o'clock in the morning when i'm recording this so confirmed events number one triple orb drops from the orb events so awesome a whole bunch of new orbs i need those i'll tell you that Special mission rewards, and those are typically like, you know, complete the Hercule challenge to get the statue, complete the Roshi training challenge for the shells, do a certain amount of stamina, buy something from the Baba shop, train up a character, things like that. Daily summon tickets. Uh, now that is, every day you log in, you get a summon ticket, and then you have to complete a, usually an event. On the JP side, it was like you have to consume 20 stamina to get an additional ticket. The one thing on JP that I do want to make note that you are aware of, if you guys don't use it by the end of the day, you will lose it. So make sure you use it as soon as you get it. There's no reason to save them. We do have confirmation. The Super Saiyan Gotenks will be getting a Stoken Awakening. So awesome. I can't wait for that. It's passive, I believe, jumps up to attack plus 100%. The Kid Goku and the Super Saiyan Goku, the one-year anniversary ones, or at least the ones with the holding up their fingers as one, both get Doken Awakenings. They hold their fingers up to a two now. <laughs> to to, to um, celebrate the second year anniversary, we will receive a free transcendent Super Saiyan Goku. At some point, we will receive the Elder Kai's from the uh, Facebook Shenron Wish. That's really far ahead of everything else. I've been monitoring that as well. So make sure he's on standby for that. The Blue Dragonstone, of course, as you have known if, if in the uh, video that I actually no, I hadn't posted that video yet. About 77 Dragonstone, about 77 Dragonstones within the pack. You get 77 stones, and you get the blue stone, which you can pick any 70% lead. I have that video dropping later on today, so stay tuned for that. You can select Super Vegito, Buhan, Super Saiyan 3 Go, Tanks, Omega Shenron, or Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. For that pick, stay subscribed, check out that video. That's going to go over the list of the ranking that I have given them based off of my personal preference and what the community thinks as a whole. Number seven, upcoming vote for the next LR. We don't know who the choices are, but... I know you guys read the title of this video, LR Gohan is confirmed to be releasing tomorrow. We don't know if he's going to be a featured unit on the Super Saiyan 4 banners. We don't know if he's going to have his own banner. I mean, if he has his own featured banner, I might just skip the Super Saiyan 4s. <laughs> I don't know. I can't confirm or deny anything. We will find out tomorrow. But holy crap, dude, the hype is real. I, I, I don't know what to do on this one because, like, LR Gohan... It's LR gone. If he has a featured banner, I'm trying to pull three of him before I even go to the freaking uh, Super Saiyan 4, 4 banners. I'm telling you that right now. So, yeah. Stay hyped, I guess. Now you guys really need to make a decision. If you've been free to play, which one do you want to go for? If LR Gohan is a featured unit, are you going to skip the Super Saiyan 4s? Like, if he has his own banner with, like, a 1% pull rate, are you going to skip them if you've been saving up for the Super Saiyan 4s? I want to know. Let me know down in the comments below. Number 8. Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner are going to be here on uh, Japan. These are buy three, get one free for 128 hours. Uh, so we, we all know that the Super Saiyan 4s are coming. Number nine, an event to obtain the second anniversary coins on JP. They were used to trade for various things, like including first anniversary Goku cards and you know anything that you could possibly want that's, that's available. You go in there and you purchase it and it makes life easier. I believe that like there were Elder Kai's that were available as well. Again, L uh, LR Gohan releases. There are no new Rebirths, so he may be featured on SSJ4. That's from Zahal specifically, the number that he may be featured on Super Saiyan 4. We're all hoping. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. I really hope he's... I mean, I don't know if he's going to be featured or if he's, they're just going to throw him onto the Super Saiyan 4s as like an unfeatured unit for like a 0.05% pull rate or something like that. Who knows? We'll find out, though. Uh, the Waifu banner is coming. Obviously, guys, no one's going to really want to pull on that one just because Super Saiyan 4s and your, all your stones are probably going to go for that. Unless you're, like, super lucky and get, like, three Gokus in one pull and then three Super uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas in one pull and then, you know, you end up getting LR Gohan too. If you're that lucky, God, man, I'm telling you, good for you. Good for you. I congratulate you. <laughs> 
Um, and also what I've been waiting for is the Dokkan events are going to be half stamina. I believe that also means the shorter events, like the smaller events, on like when it, when it does normal hard, Z hard, stuff like that. So if you guys have some grinding to do, like I have to grind out the Goku Black because I never got mine to Super Attack 10. He's still on Dokkan, so I need to do that. Then I need to Dokkan his medals, get his medals for Dokkaning. And then I got to do the like Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks medals so that way I can get my physical Gotenks up to Super Saiyan, I mean up to Super Attack 10. And a whole bunch of other things I gotta do with that. And I've been saving specifically for this half stamina event, especially those cell medals. Um, also for that LR Gohan, remember that you need 77 cell medals to Doken Awaken him to his first do for, through his first Doken Awakening. And speculator events, these are events that we still don't have any information about as of that now. That's the quadruple experience points from story quest modes, which I'm hoping for. Lots of lots of dragon stones, which we're still probably gonna get. The world tournament, the prize is unknown. I'm so I'm assuming that. I don't know if, if the World Tournament's supposed to be in slot number three or not. I mean, not slot number three, in speculated events or not, because it says World Tournament prize is unknown. So, we... I, I, I'm still going to keep that on the we don't know list, because I'm pretty sure that's what Zahal is supposed to be mean here, because he kept it under speculated. And an additional redstone from the World Tournament. So, <clears throat> yeah, guys, that's it. That's all the information from there. Oh, 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 you know what? Before I forget, there was this post... Up on Twitter, it's from the French Twitter now, and it shows a brand new medal. Well, two brand new medals, um, combatant challengers. Now we have no idea what this is, but it almost looks like it almost looks like it's coming from the other world tournament, from you know the um, the anime only Paikuhan Pai and Goku fight in the other world tournament after Goku dies after the Cell events, the Cell games. So we might be getting a new event. On the global side, that has not come to JP yet. Who knows? We don't know yet. But this was data mined from the server, well, from the actual game. And this is actually from, from France, I believe it is, from, from the French. So thank you, Trunksu, um, for grabbing that information and posting it up. Uh, we have no other real information about this. I have not found anything about this on the Reddit other than the one post that links to this Twitter uh, post. So stay tuned. I'll, I'll put give out more news when that comes available. And then you could also go to the dbc.space schedule for all the actual information on 7-6. Uh, it's today. Now, that's supposed to be tonight at 5 p.m. PDT. So, Pacific Time, 5 tonight. We're supposed to do the Super Saiyan Gotenks thing, um, the Goku Youth, um, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, and the Baby Vegeta. Uh, no, not sorry, the Baby Vegeta. Um, so, essentially, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku Beyond the Limits, Transcendent Ultra Rare, the Goku Youth, and the Super Saiyan Gotenks are all supposed to be available. So, that's going to start a day early. And then tomorrow at 12 o'clock PST, that's when all the Super Saiyan 4 stuff comes out, and apparently when all of the waifu stuff starts. Oh, and apparently there's a Hercule Diamond statue, guys. Hercule Diamond statue. Sorry I did not bring that up earlier. I saw that just now. It wasn't put in the post. It is worth 500... Well, no, it's worth 5 million zenny. 5 million zenny. Holy crap, I'm going to have to go, I'm, I'm posting the picture up obviously for you guys, but oh my god, that's insane. Five million zenny statue, I hope, hope, hope you can grind those out, I will be grinding. That LR Broly destroyed my zenny account, I had like 250 million zenny. Then LR Broly, then LR Piccolo, and now I'm down to nothing. <laughs> I can barely Doken Waken or Z Awaken a freaking SSR right now. Anyway guys, that's the news, I appreciate it. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.